I want to give some viewpoints out in areas that we're not used to looking at. So just bear with me uh, and see if you can follow and experience what I'm talking about when I'm, while I'm speaking. Perceiving something is perceiving it in present time right now. I can perceive you there. I can, uh, I can locate your body and then put it aside and then I can look at your energy field and, and that will dictate what your potential is because if you've got a You've got a ceiling of energy only up to, say, that level before you hit succumb. That's how far you can go. That's what you can experience. If you've got, in your energy field, you've got a potential hate there, well, that's going to be, uh, it goes solid on you, and you can't handle some things. No? So I look at your energy field, and it tells me how long I've you. I've just found out by inquiry, of practicing techniques that could lead me closer to the basic cause of what motivates people and, and what they can do about it to change their life. If you can't change your life, you tend to get a bit bored with it and you look for diversions. Any of you do that? Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. If you get bored with your life, you look for something to occupy your mind. Is that true? Yeah. You don't get what it is, it's just something different. Did I get that? Yes. yes. So that's perception. You can look and perceive a person. You can perceive what's physically there. You can perceive their energy, that's physical. They can perceive their body, that's physical. You can perceive their uh, their mind, which is just a lot of pictures, or a potential. The energy will dictate what pictures they have in their mind. People like to know themselves. They like to know, perceive, and know. They don't. Everyone wants to tell everybody how someone else is, or who they are, and what they're doing, and so on and so on. And what they really want to do is find out and look for themselves. Mm. They like to experience something and understand. People get so fascinated. How could you possibly be introverted? How could you be worried about your life? How could you be concerned about who you are? How could you be concerned about getting people to be uh, to impress people? If you really attention was on understanding people, and if you found that as the most fascinating subject you've ever struck in your life. It's endless just trying to understand somebody. Because you understand, I understand you today, but something's going to happen to you before uh, tonight, tomorrow. And you're going to be different. So if I assume you're the same as what you are when I first see you tonight, I could be wrong. Mm. And if I start to treat you like you thought about yourself yesterday, I'm no longer having got a bond with you anymore. Mm. I'm not in reality with you. <coughs> Does that make sense? Because people keep changing. That's the whole fact. That's the part of living. And when you are cause out of your life and you're changing for the better, you know, for the better, then you can reach a level of happiness because you're doing something about life. But if you're stuck in being an effective life and not enough cause, it gets very boring.